I don't care if Alibaba stock is falling. And I'm gonna tell you why. Welcome back to Keith Talks guys. My name is Keith and in this channel we talk about everything investment related from stocks to cryptos and beyond. So let's talk. Today I'll be telling you about why I don't care if Alibaba stock is falling. You see there's been a lot of bad press about Alibaba stock and a lot of people are pretty much saying don't buy Chinese stocks especially Baba even though Alibaba stock hasn't actually done anything at all. My simple short answer for why I don't care if Alibaba stock is falling is that it's a buying opportunity for me. So don't tell anyone. Guys, just hear me out. I'm not a day trader, but I'm not a meme coin investor either. You see, I like to buy stocks that I think are undervalued based on today's prices. And I consider myself to be a bit of a long-term investor who has like a three to five year time span for when I usually want to sell. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about the three main reasons why I really don't care if the stock keeps falling and why I'm just gonna keep buying. Because you have to have a reason, <laughs> especially at the rate that Alibaba has fallen, it went from over $300 to under $120. That's insane. So why would I still be saying that I'm gonna be buying? Why would I still be saying that? Guys, some of the smartest people in the world are investing in China like Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio just announced that he's going to be starting a China fund and he's going to personally invest about half a billion dollars into that fund. Not million, half a billion dollars. That's about $500 million, guys. And I personally like to copy what smart people are doing because they are the ones who are considered to be smart money. So why not just chase what smart money is doing? Ray Dalio himself has invested lots of money into Alibaba stock and he's starting his own fund and many other people in his community are pretty much doing the exact same thing as him. So that's one good reason. Another good reason is I don't like reading reports about companies on news websites. That's not a direct source. A lot of people come to me and says, hey look Keith, did you see that Yahoo Finance, there's an article on there that says something bad about Alibaba. And I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on for a minute. When you want to research about a company, you want to go directly to the source. I go to sec.gov and since Alibaba stock is a VIE structure, you have to look up the 20F. And when you look up that 20F, you'll see that they've actually been growing and they're actually doing all the right things. They're spending their money the right way and they're starting to do more businesses. And one of the things that I love about Alibaba stock is that they started a cloud services business, just like how Amazon did. And we all know what happened to Amazon. And of course, the third thing that I really, really love about this company is just their balance sheet is phenomenal. They're growing their revenue. They're growing the amount of cash they have. They're decreasing the amount of debt they have. It is consistently growing and yet the stock price is falling. So then why is Alibaba stock actually falling? It's because the stock market moves up and down based on people's outlook. That's it. Well, what influences someone's outlook? News, the media, an influencer, maybe some guy on YouTube, right? There's other people on YouTube that say don't buy Chinese stocks. Like literally all of these things that compound on top of the fact that you, you had President Trump who was bashing China and fraud companies like Didi and Luck and Coffee who actually got delisted. When you com compile these all together, then yeah, a lot of these bad news is going to destroy people's outlook on Baba stock. And this is what drove the price of Baba stock down in the last year and a half. The way I see it, they're continuing to grow. They just made $127 billion in the last four quarters. And guess what? They're probably going to grow another 20 to 25%. And if the stock price doesn't go up, that means the distance between how well the business is doing and how bad the stock price is doing is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the bigger it gets, that's how much further the stock price is eventually going to go. Because eventually the stock price will catch up to how much the actual business is worth. And that's why I don't care if Alibaba stock is falling. 
Guys, I understand that a lot of people out there are really, really nervous, especially when you see a stock falling this much. The first thing you want to do is get out. You start questioning yourself. You start asking yourself, did I look at the wrong things? What am I doing wrong? Well, investing is hard. And sometimes when things like this happen, you start to lose focus and you start to get influenced by the wrong people. So if you think I gave you any value in this, and if you're like me and you want to believe in the fundamentals of the company and you want to keep holding and maybe you need that motivation, you know what, hit that subscribe button. I'll give you guys Baba content telling you that Baba is, is good and that there's no reason to sell and that if it keeps falling further down, it's more of a buying opportunity. Like nothing is changing the company. Guys, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm saying I love Alibaba stock and I'm pretty much all in and I'm not going to sell. I'm not. The stock should be worth well over $400 a share, yet it's only $100. 15 or $120, it fluctuates around there. Like, I'm, I'm looking at a 4x, 4 5x return. You don't really see that in the stock market. You see that in the crypto space, right? So, this is a great opportunity, especially if you have like a, a tax free savings account or a Roth IRA, and that's where you have your Alibaba stock. You're, you're looking at a massive gain over the course of time. So, all you have to do is just be patient, right? There's, this is not about timing the market, this is about how long you're actually invested in the market. So, time in the market. I really hope that helped guys. If you found value in my content, please hit the subscribe button, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll talk to you soon. So take care.